All right, I've got all these flaps on. Oh, and I figured out what I want to do to hold them in place, at least part of it. Okay, so, <clears throat> all right, I've got these flappers here and they're gonna have solar panels attached to them yet. Uh, I haven't done it yet. But this goes over there and then this one comes here. And when it's out here, I need to be able to put it at this height or be able to adjust it down or up, depending on where the sun is. So I was rummaging around in my workshop and I found these pipes, which fit together quite nicely. You know, a little bit snug, but loose enough that they're not gonna get stuck if a bit of sand or something fits in there. So I think I'm gonna go super simple. Uh, let's see, I guess that would be the right height. I'll just drill a hole through there, put a nail in, or maybe one of the stainless steel uh, rivet leave-ins, put one of those in. And then in this pipe, have another hole here, so if I want to lower, and then another hole here. So just three settings, you know, one there, one up there, and one down there. So this can go, don't fall, go down here or up there. And I'll probably put two of these on each flap. So supported toward the front and toward the back. So I'm gonna need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Obviously this isn't gonna be enough. Uh, so I'm going to town pretty soon. So I'll take this, these with me and get <clears throat> matching pipes. Enough to do all the pieces. This pipe is schedule 40 and the size is not on here. I think it's three quarter inch. And then this is a C PVC pipe, which is a different size than normal PVC pipes. They're a little bit bigger. So the PVC pipe that is almost the same size as this is too snug for this. But the C PVC pipes are a little bigger and they fit really nicely. So I think this is a three quarter inch and this is a one inch. And actually when I get to the store, I might check if there are two a little bigger. I guess this would be strong enough, but I, want, I might want to just get a bit of extra strength anyway. Now mounting the solar panels. The first time I got these solar panels, they had sticky backs. So you just peel the stuff off the back and they stick. These ones have no sticky backs. So, hmm, so far I'm thinking I should just drill holes in, you know, in a few spots in this white area because I'm pretty sure this white area doesn't contain anything important. I can drill holes and rivet it into place. I could probably even drill a hole in one of these white squares, but I don't want to risk that. I want to keep them like well away from any important electrical stuff so like out here somewhere and then it would be fastened a bunch of times around the outside i think that'll be sufficient although when i'm in town i'll also check for some glue i've read that sika flex whatever that is works well for gluing solar panels down i'm not doing anything with the solar panels today so i've got a couple hours right now i could do something useful I think I might take care of these boxes. These are full of batteries. I've been unable to secure a battery sponsor for this boat. I had a couple leads, all fell flat. Uh, so I do have batteries that I bought a while ago off eBay. Uh, they're used, but they're still in decent shape. Uh, lithium iron phosphates, let me pull a couple out. These are the same batteries I used on my last boat too. Yeah, it'll be nice to get these boxes out of the way. They've been taking up a huge bunch of amount of floor space for months. for me with a motor and that's coming it'll be here soon and it's a 48 volt motor so 
I need to turn 36 volt packs into 48 volt packs. So, if I take one of these and cut it into thirds, which is a li little harder than saying, then I'll have three 12 volt packs that I can add onto three 36 volt packs. So I'll have a total of four of these put together into three 48 volt things. That should be pretty simple. It's just kind of a pain cutting these because it's not like you can just cut them. You gotta take them all apart and cut all the connections. And it's not that hard though. And I only have to cut one into three pieces. And then I can use three whole other packs. So that's great. I guess I better go get my voltmeter to check these before I start operating on them. I don't want to take one apart for like a half an hour and then realize it's dead. Thirty-eight point six. Okay, that's good. They're thirty-six volt batteries, so they should be a little over thirty-six volts. Thirty-eight point six. Good. be 12 volts right there. Don't short circuit, don't short circuit. I scratched the plastic coating on this one up here. So I put a bit of electrical tape on there. I probably don't even need it. Nothing's going to get in there and touch it anyway. Drilling these holes, I need to be real careful not to hit any of the cells. I got my drill bit super sharp though, with some sandpaper. So these are going pretty smoothly. One here and one there. I need two at the other end. Each one of these is 12 volts, and I've got some original contacts. And then wherever I don't have those, I have two screw contacts. So I have two wires out of there. You know, in case these are pushing a lot of current ever, which they may be. So I just need to match those up with three full ones. Man, that's a lot easier than cutting them into 24 volt things. <laughs> 